This video is to illustrate the steps of a basic esophagram. Before performing the esophagram, acknowledge the patient, introduce yourself, discuss the duration of the procedure, approximately 10 to 15 minutes, explain the procedure, and thank the patient. An easy acronym to remember these steps is AIDET, aid it. Step one, take a scout image of the patient before starting the procedure. Step two, if the patient is at risk for aspiration, have the patient swallow thin contrast and evaluate for aspiration. If there is no aspiration, continue with the esophagram. However, if there is aspiration, image capture and further discussion with the clinical team is needed. This is an example of aspiration. Step three, with the patient standing upright in the AP position, have them swallow gas crystals followed with water to help dilate the esophagus for optimal imaging. It is important to remind the patient to resist burping in order to maximize dilatation of the esophagus. Position the patient in the left posterior oblique LPO position. This means that the posterior portion of the patient's left shoulder will be touching the table and the patient will be at an oblique angle towards the camera. Step 4. Have the patient swallow thick contrast and fluoroscopy image the esophagus from the upper esophagus to the gastroesophageal junction. Tell the patient that you'll count to three and have them swallow on three. Begin fluoroscopy when you count to the number two. To reduce the patient overall dose, collimate the image to a narrower field, visualizing mainly the esophagus. Lower the table to the horizontal plane. Position the patient in the right anterior oblique RAO position. This means that the anterior portion of the patient's right shoulder will be touching the table and the patient will be at an oblique angle. Step 5. Have the patient swallow thin contrast and fluoroscopy image the esophagus from the upper esophagus to the GE junction. Tell the patient that you will count to 3 and have them swallow on 3. Begin fluoroscopy when you count to the number 2. This is an example of a hiatohernia in the REO position. Step 6. In the supine position, test for gastroesophageal reflux using various maneuvers such as straight leg raises, drinking sips of water, or cough or other Valsalva maneuvers. Prior to performing the maneuvers, fluoroscopy over the GE junction to ensure that there is not a large amount of residual contrast in the esophagus. If there is, have the patient take several dry swallows. This is an example of gastroesophageal reflux. Step 7. Raise the table to the vertical plane. With the patient in the AP position, have them swallow a barium tablet with water. Reassure the patient that the barium tablet does not contain any medication. After they have swallowed the tablet, fluoroscopy over the esophagus and GE junction to confirm passage of the tablet into the stomach. No image capturing is required. If the tablet is not passed into the stomach, have them take multiple dry swallows or sips of water to assist with its passage into the stomach. This is what a barium tablet looks like under fluoroscopy and when stuck at the gastroesophageal junction. This is a summary of a basic esophagram. Step 1, scout image. Step 2, evaluate for aspiration if needed. Step 3, AP position, swallow gas crystals. Step 4, LPO position, swallow thick contrast. Step 5, RAO position, swallow thin contrast. Step 6, supine position, evaluate for gastroesophageal reflux. Step 7, AP position, swallow tablet.